Hello, sweet, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Divine Alignment. Oof, I am so excited about today's episode because had I learned this one thing, oh, so much, I would have saved myself so much time, energy, resources, and I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys. And of course, the journey is always perfect but I believe that is why we listen to these videos, these podcasts, why we do all of these things to immerse ourselves in learning is to collapse time so that we don't have to make the, make the, and I don't, I don't want to call them mistakes, but like, we don't have to make the mistakes that others have already made when we can learn them from other people's experiences. And so before we dive in to the thing that has absolutely like shifted my whole reality, because I have been noticing recently, like I am more psychic than I've ever been. And that's, that's the goal of evolution. We're going to, you know, we get, we get wiser with age, right? And hopefully we grow and evolve and expand that. That's why we came to this incarnation and earth. And I've just been noticing, like, I will have a thought about someone and it turns out that is exactly what they're experiencing or that is exactly what they were thinking. Or in my client sessions, like I just, I see it so clearly. And while I have had this, it just feels like so precise, the precision, the accuracy it's just a really beautiful thing to witness and to see and experience. And I feel so grateful. And this is really something that I want for everyone. I want for everyone to have this gift. And it's funny because I was going to say activated within you. And and it is. It is becoming activated within you. But before we dive in, like that's what I really want to set the stage with is like, this is not, yes, it is being activated within you but it's being activated from within you okay so another way to put this is it's actually releasing what is just getting in the way of you tuning into your already there abilities i think so often when we hear this term like activation and awakening and gifts turning on right it's like, it's like we've received something and, you know, this could, I do believe that this is the case. We can receive intuitive, intuitive gifts, but much of your gifts are already within you. You, uh, we just get the hypnosis, the Maya, the illusion of separation and of, uh, the societal programming that we're not tapped in we're not tuned in and you know i i i always briefly touch upon this because i do think it's important to add to the conversation just for context like when you're not tapped in when you are not tapped into your power that fuels our economy and our world and there's a lot of <sighs> There is a lot of benefit to people not being in their power. I'll just put it that way. There's a lot of benefit to be had to those who are ruling over those who are not in their power. So when you are now in your power and you are now a sovereign being, all of a sudden you are not easily manipulatable, controllable, and... It's a whole different energy. So I bring this up because this is why people are not in their power, why they're not as psychic as they are, because you are, you are psychic, you are tapped in, you are tuned in. And so again, so much of what I do like in my client sessions is we're just releasing everything that's in the way of them seeing the love that is all around them, seeing their health that is all around them, seeing their mission and purpose that is all around them, seeing their truth, their path, their 
their abilities, their gifts, all of these things that are there, but there's just distortions in the way. So there's also, you know, I spoke about that. We don't need to go into that. There's the programming, like keeping people not in their power, but there's also trauma and emotions and blocks within the body. So we all have trauma. Absolutely. All of us have trauma. We've incarnate into this experience and we develop, we go through things in life that are not pleasant, or even if it's not perceived by our conscious mind to be that big of a deal, it is when we're a child, when we're in this very programmable state of zero to seven years old, we are very open and susceptible to beliefs and programming from our parents and loved ones and society and friends and teachers. And while all of them may be well-intentioned, they don't always land in the body as such. Okay. So for instance, a recent session I did, um, this woman has an amazing relationship with her dad, amazing relationship with her dad. And she's been having pain with sex. And she was like, now she's had further traumas take place in more recently within the past 10 years. And which just like side note, if you have had any type of it, like truly, I shared about this on Instagram. If you have had any type of sexual trauma, absolutely now is the time to heal this. Absolutely now, like yesterday, but now is the next best time. It's, it's taking up, it's taking up so much precious energy in the body. And I'm just seeing, like, I feel like we go through waves as a society of healing things. And this is a really big one showing up again right now is sexual trauma. So, um, yes, releasing it from the body, the subconscious mind and the body. So again, like we can forgive the person, we can cord cut and we can do talk therapy, but these are 99.9% .9 of the time, not going to release it from the body and from the subconscious mind. Okay. And this goes for all trauma. This goes for all trauma. So when we did a session, she saw, you know, of course this really traumatic scene, but before that even happened, there was a time, a very, she's so close with her dad. And there was one time where her dad got really mad at her. Her dad got really mad at her. And like, this is, this is, gosh, like parents have so much pressure on them. Like if you were a parent, my goodness, what I just so honor you. And, um, because I've worked with many, many parents and, and also many people who, who have had trauma happen with their parents, right? Because even to this day, she's still so close with her dad. And yet there was one experience that happened with her dad when she was very young, like four. And this, these things set the stage for further traumas that happen. So when we can actually release that, clear it from the body, clear it from the subconscious mind, clear it from like, this also clears it from the lineage. Like, I just want you to like, see the the profundity and the, it's so funny. That word has been like coming through so much, the profundity. It's like never what I use, but it truly like, this is so, people want to go into their past lives and do uh, ancestral work and past life regression and stuff, which I think it's great, but it's like, deal with this lifetime first. Okay. Deal with this lifetime first, because there's so much in this lifetime for you to heal. And the craziest thing is that actually when we do this work in this lifetime, we are doing generational work. We are doing ancestral work. We are healing past lives, our, our ancestors, like we are because we're all connected. And so that's what I really want to get into of this is, it's so funny because I've been, I've been really guided to learn about the law of correspondence. And what this law states is that, so as within, so without, as above, so below. And as I was 
as I was studying it earlier today, we, we know this, right? But I was just reminded on these deeper, deeper, deeper levels that truly it's all us. It's all us. And that's a really humbling thing to see. So whatever we're working through, though, this is really like such a great opportunity for us to know exactly what's going on because it's like literally the universe is showing us okay the universe god source divine is showing us exactly what we need it's like the the breadcrumbs are all over the path the the answers are all over but that's what that's this is the secret okay this is the thing that has absolutely changed everything for me and it's when I realized I realized I had the belief for so long my whole really like the past 15 years I've always known I've been like intuitive and that like I have these gifts and I just have had this thought in the back of my mind the entire time If, if I'm so intuitive, why can't I figure out these things with myself? And that thought has been nagging me in the back of my mind for so long, so long. And now don't get me wrong. I have learned a ton about myself through my intuition, through my guides, through my angels, through channeling so much. I have received so much wisdom, so much guidance, so much clarity about things that I would have never been able to find on myself, like out on my, um, through just thinking my way there, like never. However, there have been things that I've still been working on in my own life, in my own health, in my own wellness, in my relationships. And I realized I was so ashamed of those parts of me, those aspects of me and thinking like, if I'm so, this is like me sharing my, my baggage with you guys, like, because I believe like I'm seeing more and more and more, like none of us go through this in isolation. None of us are here struggling alone. We actually all have very similar thoughts, very similar, um, struggles. If we really reduce them to the core and when I, and I mean, I have, again, like this isn't to take away the profundity or the gravity to which I have grown and evolved and, and healed and, oh my gosh, expanded like so much over the past, especially the past few years. And when I really, really, and I, and I've known I've had this thought this and it wasn't even a thought it was like i'm gonna say it's a belief it's not a thought it's a belief and beliefs shape our reality joe dispenza talks about this all the time your thought your beliefs create your personal reality and yet if we know them why are they so hard to change sometimes <laughs> right and it literally occurred to me that I could just surrender to it. I could just surrender to it. That I actually am not meant to know everything about myself. I am not meant to know all the answers about myself. And this has expanded and accelerated and opened up everything. This has opened up everything for me. Now I am more psychic than ever. For is so much stuff like in my life for others. And I know that this is because we are meant to work with others. And, and here's the thing. I might not always know. I might not always know why I haven't worked through something with myself. I might not know, but I do know that every time I am led to a person, it is for such a divine reason Every time I meet a new healer, a 
new client, a new person, coach, friend, whatever that I go to. Ironically, this is kind of funny that most of the, most of the healers and practitioners that I've ever gone to have also become my clients as well. So there's that. It's like, we just, we could not ever understand the complexity and the, uh, the depth, the harmony, the synchronization that is happening in our universe. And when I say this, it's like, I, what if I had to have whatever X, Y, Z issue, problem, whatever you want to call it, circumstance, so that I would seek out this particular person so that that person could also work with me so that we could form whatever type of partnership, um, relationship, whatever that may be. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like even now I'm just thinking of, ah, uh, ah, uh, my gosh, some of just the depth of love and experiences I have had from some of these encounters of people that I have sought out for certain things I was struggling with. If I just fixed that and cleared that on my own, I would have missed out on so much. I would have missed out on so much. So much love, so much growth, so much learning, so much giving, so much receiving. Like if I just was able to, and there are so many things, don't get me wrong. Like I just clear for myself, they're gone, clear from the fields, clear from uh, my body. Like, no, like, you know, like I'll pick up something. No, nope, that's gone. Or I'll see like, uh, again, this belief that I've been holding all of these things. I am like, oh my gosh, I'm like a mad scientist trying to figure things out so often within myself. And, and then it just like occurred to me, I don't need to know everything about, I don't have to have all the answers for myself. And I share this because I know that other people are going to be this previous type A perfectionist. Um, perhaps you two are a three on the Enneagram. Um, but my, my, my more, I like the Enneagram. Don't get me wrong. I like all of these systems. I think they're very fascinating, mm -hmm. but especially being a projector, I think in human design, the, our main like trait characteristic is that we're able to penetrate auras. And I've always seen this and known this, but here's the thing. It goes outward. I penetrate other people's auras and I'm able to see and understand the systems, the body, the mechanisms, the energy at play, I see it clearly. This is an outward energy. It is not an internal energy. It is not reflected back. Okay. And like just learning and understanding this, that it's like, oh, of course. And that's okay. That's okay. Because as honestly, what it feels like for me is releasing the pressure. Like, I just invite you to take a breath, take a deep breath. Where are you holding pressure on yourself? Where do you still hold expectations that you should be? You should be making this much money. You should be healed now. You should have found a partner by now. You should have found your purpose by now. You should have completed like oh my gosh I'm getting emotional because someone really needed to hear this where do you have these shoulds in your life that you should be achieving doing succeeding having whatever it is no you shouldn't wherever you're at right now is perfect and in the divine perfection of where you're at right now there is like what they're showing me is like a, a a rose like opening up and blossoming and blooming you have to you don't have to you get to be in this divine opening and unfolding and revealing of your beauty and it takes time and 
it really is the pressure that we hold on ourselves that actually makes the journey take longer. And something that just came through this morning in my channeling was, would you rather be going fast in the direction that isn't serving you? And that's not your ultimate highest goal? Or would you rather make slow movements forward towards what your soul really desires? So many people are going so fast towards what they don't even want. And it takes them getting to the destination of what they don't want to realize, I just created all of this that I don't even want. I just created all of this money, this success, this relationship, this way of living, this way of being in the world. And I don't even want, it's not me. This is why I've been teaching and talking about co-creatorship. Like we have to, again, we get to learn this dance with our soul and source. And this is often going to look like moving slower. It's going to often look like moving slower, but we're moving actually in the direction that's going to get us the lasting. It's like building the foundation. You can't rush these things. You can't rush your becoming. You can't rush these processes. There's there's wisdom and magic and growth and healing that that occurs through the journey. And so where are you holding pressure on yourself that you should have had it figured out by now. You should be, you should have lost the weight. You should have figured out your health, your skin, the gut issues, the, you should have had found the partner. You should be married. You should be making X amount. You should have found your, your calling. You should have whatever it is. And perhaps you have many. Like, I just invite you in this moment to witness them, to hold them, to see them. Thank them. Thank you. Thank you. Because herein lies your growth and, and your, your, your learning and your wisdom. Because this is going to lead you into, once we can accept that they're okay to be there, that's when they start to alchemize and change and shift. And this, for me, has been like the wall of releasing of like, I don't have to have it all figured out. As long as we're in this human existence, I believe we're going to have challenges and opportunities for growth. Now, this doesn't mean we have to struggle. I talked about this recently as well. This doesn't mean we have to struggle, but we're still going to have challenges, okay? Like it doesn't mean we go to this. It's not like the new earth is just rainbows and butterflies and unicorns flying everywhere. Yes, we will enjoy the experience so much deeper and richer and more fulfilling, but it doesn't mean we don't have opportunities that are going to arise. They're going to catapult us and, and challenge us, challenge, wow, challenge us and expand us and call us up to greater growth. There's always going to be layers to let go of. There's always going to be things to work on and in that you're still always perfect. Okay. Like, you really couldn't mess it up if you tried. And in that, that's why I had to bring up the law of correspondence, because if you believe you're messing it up, you're going to see that you're messing it up. If you believe that you're messing it up, you're going to see evidence that you are messing it up. And this isn't just about changing your thoughts. It's about changing the beliefs. The beliefs lie beneath the thoughts. This is why I work with the subconscious minds. This is why I work with the energy, energies and energetics. Because until we do this and just play with our thoughts, you are going to be struggling if you are just playing with your thoughts. You are going to, like, please, I, I do not wish. That is an uphill battle <laughs> to try and just change your thoughts you are going to be exhausted. If that's all you have time to do in a day, just work on your thoughts, maybe, maybe. 
but get to the subconscious mind, the beliefs, the deep-rooted fears, the trauma, the emotions, the energetics. And now you don't have to be the police monitor of your thoughts. Okay? You're just going to have better thoughts. You're going to have more pleasant thoughts. <laughs> just as a byproduct. And you're just going to feel better. But really, this this whole episode is just an invitation to... I want people in their power. I want people, if they choose, if they desire this, to have this awareness, this understanding, this awakening, this ability turned on, their abilities turned on, their abilities revealed to them from within them. And one of the greatest things you can do is to take off the pressure. To take off the pressure and know that just because For me, it goes just because I'm intuitive doesn't mean I should have figured everything out about myself. (sighs) Breathe that in if that if that rings any bit true for you. I believe that we all in this personal development, spiritual growth, awakening community, it's like once you start to realize that you can just tune in and channel and ask for guidance yes you're still go I don't get me wrong like I've said I have learned so much about myself and I have healed so much about myself and I have grown so much and I have ah uh, magic magic synchronicities like so much has been revealed to me and yet these other still little deeper things I just was so hard on myself about the shoulds, you know, and it could just be stated. So this is just really stating it in another way. Like, where are you shooting on yourself? Where are you shooting on yourself? <laughs> where are you shooting on yourself? And again, I've heard that before and it just didn't land. It didn't land in the way that this realization has for me of, I don't have to have myself figured out. And in fact, we're always going to be a work in progress, a journey in progress. No, not a work in progress, a journey in progress. Words are important. Language is important, my friends. If you haven't noticed, that's why I'm always correcting myself because our words speak our life. I'm very conscious about the words I use because of that. And... We'll do another episode on that because that is a tangent for another time. Until then, and until next time, how can you just be a little lighter on yourself? Know that you're exactly where you're meant to be. Know that the answers will be revealed to you. And know that if you haven't found the answer, for a reason you're going to meet a certain person you're going to discover a certain thing you're you're in a journey you're in a path you're in a discovery there's going to be so much growth and learning in that so until next time i'm sending you all infinite love